Hello, it is Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. Uh, It is a Tuesday puzzle, so probably still fairly approachable, as yesterday's was, but um, again, with some kind of theme. This edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Joe Percy, Joseph Schwalbach, and as always, the inestimable Hood Monster. Uh, So thank you so much to the three of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly supporting this channel and this series and helping make this whole thing a sustainable part of my daily work. Um, And let's, uh, yeah, so if you do, uh, I should say, if you do subscribe to the Patreon campaign, you get access to all of the bonus video solves that have gone up on there to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. So yes, thank you to everybody who is backed at any level. And you also get access to the extra channel on the Daily Solve um, Discord chat server. And check that out as well. The rest of it's free to join, and you can find a link in the description field underneath the video, um, just like the Patreon. Okay, let's get on to the solve. So, like I said, this is a Tuesday puzzle. It was constructed by uh, Bruce Haight, who's done several dozen crosswords for the New York Times crossword, so a pretty experienced constructor, and was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's get going. Okay, if something doesn't include something, it hasn't it. I don't know if that's what we're looking for here, but it is technically grammatical. Let's see, classic rock standard with Spanish lyrics. Um... I feel as though there are at least two examples that should come to mind immediately. I can't bring them to mind. That's very frustrating. Uh, okay, I think hasn't is incorrect. I think that's what's that's that's not helping. So this is at least straightforward. London's blank gardens could be Kew Gardens. Um, there are botanical gardens here in London. Kew uh, Botanical Gardens, they're huge and magnificent. So does that help here? Oh, it doesn't include something. It lacks it. There we go. That's a more straightforward more straightforward uh, substitute for doesn't include. So that makes more sense. La Bamba. There we go. <laughs> uh, classic rock standard with Spanish lyrics. La Bamba. Much more straightforward when I had the correct cross. That is, does tend to be how these works. Okay. Blank cat could be alley cat. And considering everything could be all told. You say all told. I think lax is a better fill than hasn't. Walked heavily could be clomped, maybe. And a line as multiple devices. You might sink them. And then a fragile art form crafted with air and heat. Blown glass. Paint application. A coat. A coat of paint. An application of paint. Company with a spokes duck. So in the United States, Aflac, the insurance company, has a duck mascot. A division of the Earth's crust. Not sure if this is a category of division or a particular named division. Probably should be able to get that, but I'm not seeing it immediately. Very top. Very top could be the Acme. Highest point? No, maybe not. Maybe Apex. How about that? Also the highest point. Uh, Don goddess Eos. That's why I thought Acme was probably not correct. And important markings on treasure maps could be X's. X marks the spot. And a drifting ice is a flow, an ice flow. Oh, so the pl- right plate. Yes, the Earth's plate, division of the Earth's crust. That looks right. Pretend to be at a Halloween party. Say you could go as somebody or something. And props for It's the Hard Knock Life in Annie. I've never actually seen Annie, but this certainly looks like mops, doesn't it? And divisions for weightlifters. Sets, I suppose? Yeah. you could. I was thinking divisions as in weight divisions, but no. In this case, um, uh, you do a number of sets of lifts, for instance. So censoring sounds could be bleeps on a television program, for instance. And to supplement something is to add to it. Soda can features could be pop tops. And... A type who's out of touch with reality. It looks like space something. Um, I don't know. Let's look at the crosses. Opera set in Egypt could be Aida. Probably is Aida. And 
Best blank Academy Awards category. Best actor. Sorry, that <laughs> took me a moment there. Um, longtime home appliance brand. Um, this looks familiar. Is it? Uh, can't bring it to mind. Let's check the crosses. It doesn't excite me much. Meh. And church donation would be a tithe. You could tithe part of your income to a church, for instance. So is this a mana? Long-time home appliance brand. That sort of looks right. Spot could be a place. And a college in New Rochelle, New York. I'm not sure if... Iona, maybe? A starter on the mound, often. This could be on the baseball... Uh, Diamond, and it could be an ace pitcher, I think. So look at that. I'm getting something sports related. Oh, so maybe this is Iona. Is it Iona with an A or an E? Uh, blank Gatos, California. I happen to know this is uh, Los Gatos, California, is south of San Francisco. And you should never, ever do this. It's It's a sin. Oh, is this space case? Don't know that I'm necessarily specifically familiar with that term, but um, but it looks right. You could probably say that person's a total space case. They're out of touch with reality. Okay, micro or macro subject for short, econ, economics. And some frozen drinks are Icy's. That's a brand in the United States anyway. Candy piece with white sprinkles. Oh, is this a, is it a snowball? Maybe not. I'm not sure. What about this? Mont Blanc, highest of the Alps. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Uh, there's a pen pen company named for that mountain. <laughs> um, and vegetable in borscht is a beet beetroot in uh, the very very red soup borscht. Very good soup. Stow as cargo. Oh, could this be laid again? We keep getting this recently. In various forms, anyway. Let's try it. Let's see. A voice. So, you know, I think many of us would say load these days uh, instinctively. But because we keep getting laid in the crossword, and actually because it looks better with the crosses, I'm going to try laid. As in laden. It's the same, it's the same root word. So a voice might be heard within this. A voice might be heard within this. Within... Sure. And Attorney General under Ronald Reagan. I think this is Ed Meese. I'm sort of pulling that out of my hat there. I wouldn't expect that to necessarily be instantly known to everybody. Lab simulation, a test run, perhaps? And a school in Columbus. So Columbus, Ohio, right? So Ohio State University, most likely. And what X may mean... Oh, 10, sorry, 10. Took me a moment there. Uh, Roman numeral for 10, yes, of course. A voice might be heard within earshot. I see. If you're within earshot, you may hear a voice. And chair parts that tend to wear out quickly, arms, I suppose, and a piece of material used to strengthen a garment A garment is an inset. So that makes sense. Okay, progressing along well here. So veer sharply is to zig or zag, maybe? Let's try that and see if, if, the, if it works. Oh, relevant. I was about to skip that, but it looks like germane. If something is relevant to the argument, it is germane to the argument. And a holder of compressed data. Well, on a on a computer, that could be a zip file, perhaps. You could compress something into a zip file. So that does look like zig or zag, but I'm not sure which. Here we have wrath, which could be ire for anger. And Metaphorical source of some government funds. Metaphorical source. Um, not sure off the top of my head. What about this? Running on fumes. They say about automobiles sometimes if the if the uh, gasoline level is incredibly low, you could say you're running on fumes. By Jove, I say maybe sort of matching the the tone of the particular phrase being used there. So, by Jove, I say. Oh, 
sorry, I just skipped right back right by the revealer. So there's a theme and I didn't notice the theme was happening. So something, something connects blown glass, ace pitcher, space case, and something else. And hopefully this comment will explain what it is. So comment before a stupid stunt or a hint to the ends of 17, 25, 36, and 50 across. Glass pitcher case. These are all things that hold beer. <laughs> you could have a beer glass, a beer pitcher, pitcher, a case of beer. Um, why do I not see what this last one is? I still just cannot see what that last clue is. Um, so comment before a stupid stunt. Hold my beer, as they say. Uh, hold my beer. I'm about to top what you've just done or said or referred to. Uh, very clever. So, so what is this? Sorry, I apologize if it's extremely obvious. What about this? Parts. Uh, so parts could be components of something or it could be leaves. You part, you go away. Finish by could be end at. And by would be obviously a closer match, but by is already in the clue and we're never going to repeat a word from the clue in the answer. So never do that. Don't even consider it. If you're in the know, you could be hip, but you could also be hep depending on the sort of era in which you were in the know. So I might leave it for now. Phyllis Wheatley wrote one to Neptune, an ode, I bet. The most common poetic form, the most beloved poetic form of the New York Times crossword. You could say the New York Times crossword is an ode to the ode. So despite not being already familiar with this poem, I'm pretty certain it's an ode. Well, I guess it doesn't say it's a poem, but I suspect it is and that it is an ode. So a nuisance is a pest and it's a thought, oh, idea. So you are indeed, oops, you are indeed hip, not hep. Okay, so parts, mm, not sure, and a burden. So if you put the burden on somebody, you could put the onus on them to finish solving this crossword, for instance. Uh... Jazz singer Sylvia. Sylvia Sims, I think. But first, let's look elsewhere. Neglected neighborhood could be a slum. And... Sorry, this is probably unbelievably obvious. Metaphorical source of some government funds. Is it... Oh, oh, I have this wrong. Sorry. This is why I couldn't figure this out. Um, soda can features are pop tabs, not pop tops, right? That makes more sense, actually. And actually, beer cans as well. So we have a bit of a sort of subtle nod to the theme. So this is pork barrel. There we go. It makes more sense when the letters are correct, as it turns out. And so you also have a barrel of beer. So we have a glass of beer, a pitcher of beer, a case of beer, and a barrel of beer. There we go. So our theme has been completed, I think. Okay, if you turn one's attention to something, you key on it. Jay with a garage, Jay Leno, the talk show host, presumably. So, home of the tree of knowledge is Eden, the Garden of Eden. And if you stirred up a group, for instance, you aroused them. So, this is Zag, not Zig. Okay, so let's see. Um, what do we have here? portmanteau for a radical environmentalist. It'll be eco something. And like crosswords on Monday, vis-a-vis -vis those in the rest of the week. Well, they're easier, aren't they? Oh no, easiest. Sorry, because it's, it is the easiest of all of them. So that is what the crossword on Monday is vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the crosswords. Baseballs and basketballs, but not footballs. Well, those are spheres. Um, American footballs are not spherical, of course. Situation that might lead to extra time is a tie. And what is this? Here we have a desktop accessory. Jazz singer Sylvia. So if this were an M, oh, it does work. Yes, a desktop, so a desktop computer in this case. I see, not, not the top of a desk, although it could be that as well because that's where the mouse goes. So anyway, it's a mouse. Oops, not a mace. Now this looks strange. Eco... Oh, I don't think I saw this. Snack on, nosh on. That looks that looks correct. Yes. Uh, hmm. What's going on here? Get off the stage. Could be boo. 
and gets ready to wash. Soaks. Doesn't look right. I do think this is Sylvia Sims. Now, what am I, what am I missing here? Um, is it sorting laundry from your sorting the whites from the colors? Is this ecoteur as in saboteur? I've never heard that before. That's a little bit suspicious, I think, to be honest. Ecoteur, I've never seen that. Uh, well, that's what it is. Okay, that's a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit iffy on that last one. I would say this was a tougher puzzle than a typical Tuesday, perhaps. There were quite a few proper nouns, um, which can often be, often be tricky. Um, well, now I can't find where all of them are, but I do think, I do think in general, this puzzle was maybe a shade trickier than a typical Tuesday, but let me know. I don't know if you agree, disagree, uh, what have you, but we did. Let's, let's admire our uh, theme one last time. We had blown glass contributing a beer glass, an ace pitcher contributing a pitcher of beer, a space case contributing a case of beer, a pork barrel contributing a barrel of beer, and all of that, these answers are holding my beer. So there we go. Uh, a nice, tidy th uh, Tuesday theme by Bruce Haight. And I just realized I don't have my uh, phone present, which is usually where I look at the comments. So I'm, I might pause the, uh, I might skip edit a bit of time out of the video so that I can um, find the comments from yesterday's puzzle and go over them. So just one moment. Okay, I'm back. So, um, we have ZOR95 saying, <laughs> uh, here's a chemist being pedantic. Well, being pedantic, I suppose, is sort of the purpose of this section of the, the video, so you're in good company. Be careful about describing esters as aromatic compounds. That was my kind of tossed off uh, description of esters, I suppose. As that phrase has a specific organic chemistry meaning, i.e. that it contains a ring of atoms with some delocalized bonding going on. The most well-known aromatic compound is probably benzene, C6H6, a hexagonal ring. Of course, complicating this is that some esters can also be aromatic in a chemical sense. So there you have it. I threw off something that I thought was just a, a sort of general statement, but of course I treaded into technical realms of which I have essentially no knowledge whatsoever. So there's the occupational hazard of this, of doing, of this series. Uh, and then... Sam's Photography and Movie Corner explains, pterosaurs are an extinct genus of the order of pterosauria and were flying reptiles, not dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are defined as descendants of the last common ancestor of the Saurischia and Ornithischia, which includes pterosaurs. Brontosauruses were long considered to be a species of Apatosaurus, to which they are closely related. In 2015, uh, researchers suggested they are a distinct genus of their own, with three species. All right, so there we go. I've learned something uh, about chemistry and something about paleontology. And boy, I hope that wasn't misapplied just now, <laughs> or I'll be doing this again tomorrow. Um, but both very interesting comments. So thank you to ZOR95 and Sam's Photography and Movie Corner. I very much appreciate those explanations. Um, great. Well, that's it for today's crossword. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll, of course, be back tomorrow for the Wednesday crossword. Um, maybe a little bit of a step up in difficulty. I hope you join me then. Um, please do subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying it and um, pass it on to a friend if you think they might do so as well. And with that, I will be back tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. I hope to see you here. And until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.